On a new block of claims here, and uh, we're checking out an area that we saw that was interesting. Looks like you got some kind of uh, fracture over here, fault. You got mineralization up there. Loads of grab samples finding in this uh, quarry here. This is the first one. Looks like quartz with uh, epidotization and sulfides. Looks like primarily pyrite, but this is the first sample I picked up, hammered it open, and there's loads of these here. All throughout here you have volcanic rock. There is loads of disseminated pyrite throughout all this. Here's a couple chip samples that I pulled off. You can just see how much Iron pyrite is in there. So this looks like um, you have some altered volcanics and it also looks like uh, some silicous rock in there. Maybe some scarn. But these are uh, these are really nice looking. There's lots over here and Justin number two has said that he's found a vein, so we're gonna go check that out as well after we look up top here. So I'm standing above him, he just tossed me a couple pieces. This is kind of the host rock down there. Almost looks like a, a quartz, it's definitely silicous rock. And then this is a piece out of the, the mineralized area, just solid uh, iron sulfides. Definitely have some epidote in there. So, uh, decent uh, little showing. So I found more of the samples from the first area I was at, and I hammered them open, and it's looking really, really nice. Definitely some, uh, some nice sulfides in there. Some samples from the vein, which is right there, going all the way up. It's about 30 centimeters wide. If you take a look, these are some of the samples we pulled. Decently pyrotized, and it's definitely a, a silicous rock with uh, some epidotization. Some nice sulfides. This is a grab sample here. This is another hunk off the vein. More decent samples. So up here you have a uh, about a meter wide block of massive sulfides. And uh, it's also disseminated all the way throughout down here. You can see where your patches of oxidation are. And you can see how much epidote is scattered through the rock here. But uh, these are some samples we pulled off from up there. You can see iron sulfides. And it looks like um, a quartz vein or definitely silicous rock. But look at how much sulfides are on there. Some nice big crystals there too. So there's a whole bunch of samples we pulled off. And I think um, just by looking at this, I think there's going to be some sphalerite in here as well. Right along in here and in there. There's some more here. These are all grab samples. Massive pyrite 
with quartz. 